I'd like to show you how to seed your tall fescue lawn in the fall. And maybe before we do that, we need to learn how to calibrate our spreader to put out the right amount of tall fescue seed. So here I've got a bag of tall fescue seed. This particular one just happens to be uh, Crossfire 3 tall fescue. And this is a turf type tall fescue, and there are many like this. Sometimes uh, the bags will tell us or give us a recommendation of how to set a spreader, sometimes they don't. So uh, I always say the easiest thing to do is if you have a spreader um, with a particular name brand and you buy a seed of that same particular name brand, it's going to tell you how to set your spreader up for that seed. And that's probably the, the easiest way for a consumer to do this. However, that's not always the case. So um, what, what I have here is actually a, a two different types of spreaders. This one is a drop spreader that's going to drop seed directly below the spreader. And this one is a rotary spreader that's going to broadcast the seed out in all directions as you walk. And so either of these can be used. Uh, a rotary spreader is usually more useful if you've got a large area because it's going to broadcast the seed out maybe as far as five feet or six feet to your right, five or six feet to your left. So you can cover 10 or 12 feet uh, strips at a time. This one on the other hand, this drop spreader, uh, a little bit smaller and it's only going to drop uh, this particular one is 1.75 feet but they could be anywhere from one and a half to three feet wide and you just have to measure and see how wide your spreader is. Kind of the advantage of the of the drop spreader is you can be a little bit more accurate and precise uh, as long as you do it properly. So we want to take this seed and figure out how much do we put uh, put out in our yard and so the, the recommended seeding rate for the tall fescue uh, depending on if you're overseeding or if you're establishing a new lawn can be anywhere from three to ten pounds per thousand square feet and actually what we're going to do what we're going to work with today is we're going to go at the high rate we're going to try the ten pounds per one thousand square feet seeding rate and so now what we're going to do is walk through and, and try to calibrate this so the first step in calibration for a drop spreader is we've got to take our tape and measure how wide our drop spreader actually is and, and what the drop is. And you have to really have to notice that uh, the drop spreader obviously has two wheels and so uh, it's not wheel to wheel coverage necessarily but it's going to be a little bit inside of those wheels. So take note of that. Um, so when you go one direction and turn around if you go stay in the same wheel track you're actually going to have skips. And here you see where we went one direction to put the seed down, turned around, came back the other direction to put seed down and if you don't watch your wheels carefully you might create these skipped areas where there's no seed applied to the soil. So when you turn around you actually have to move your wheel over just a little bit to make sure you're getting a uniform distribution of the seed as it drops out of the bottom. After we do that uh, this particular one happens to be 1.75 feet wide and so if, if we're going for a 10 pound per 1,000 square feet seeding rate if we just do the math on that, that would equal a one pound per 100 square feet seating rate. So 10 pounds per thousand equals one pound per 100 square feet. So now that I know that, and now that I know I have a 1.75 foot wide spreader, if I do math, I can calculate that I need a 57 foot long test run. And that's because 57 feet times 1.7 feet, the width of my spreader, equals 100 square feet. And if I have a 100 square foot test strip, I know I should be putting out one pound in that area. So what I can do then is just weigh out, say, maybe five or ten pounds of seed, put it in my spreader, go through my test run, weigh it again. And if I put out one pound, like if I started with five pounds, I do my test, I end up with four pounds, then I'm, just, I'm spot on for my calibration. And now I know wherever I walk, I'm going to be putting out the equivalent rate of 10 pounds per 1,000 square feet of tall fescue seed. Another good tip to think about is you can go out at a half rate. So here we're going at 10 pounds per 1,000 square feet. We could go at 5 pounds per 1,000 square feet, calibrate our spreader to that, and then actually go in two directions, like go north and south, east and west, and that helps to ensure uniform coverage. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.